Hello, this is Tina the Thriftaholic. Well, you're not looking at Tina the Thriftaholic, you're looking at my puppies. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick, um, somewhat quick haul video. I did have everything placed out on here, but um, I recorded and then found out I didn't record everything. And of course the sunlight's coming down on this now. I got all this stuff at a church sale I wound up only spending $4 on everything because um, when I got up to the counter, they were by that time running a um, bag sale and it was $2 a bag and I basically had a bag in a box. So I paid $4 for everything. So this is a cute doorstop and um, he's very heavy, he's made of fabric. He's not signed or anything, but I think he could probably sell for about 20 Plus shipping. This um, is a really cute pillow. It's um, it's down filled, and the name of the brand is Loving Kindness. Can you see that? And um, I did have another pillow from them that I have listed for forty dollars. It hasn't sold yet, but I think these both will sell around Easter time. It's very cute. The embroidery work is really really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but. Um, all right, so these paintings I picked up, I saw the first one and I thought it was very interesting. I, um, I could, it looked like it was, oh, there's me. You don't want to see me right now. Um, that looks like it's a signed print. So, um, I don't think it's original. Um, I could be mistaken, but I don't think it is. Um, it looks like it was framed. I'm not sure if it was sold framed like this. It might have been. Um, the frame has some damage. Um, but this is the last name of the artist, Stage. Her, her name, her or his name, I don't know if it's a her or him, is Mads Stage. And the artist is Dutch. So believe it or not, I saw this and I looked it up comp wise. I thought it was going to sell for about $75. And then I was, I was looking at the table. I noticed this matting and this framing on a couple of other ones that were hidden. And there are four of these, all different birds, all done by Mads stage. And here's Robbins with a gray bird there with him. And here's the last one. So I'm not gonna sell them as a lot. I am gonna sell them individually and I am gonna sell them framed. Um, but again, this was all included. They were originally priced at $2 a piece, which I thought was a bargain. And then I wound up getting them in the bag sale. So it's awesome. This was the first thing I picked up. It's a votive holder. It's um, Harry Slatkin. Um, that, that, that candle, the candle stuff by Harry Slatkin usually sells pretty well. Apparently they do one of these pineapple type votive holders every year. This one is a 2009 version. There are other versions that go for like $50. I think this one was more like around 20 or 22, 24, something like that. Still a bargain. This little container, it's a little canister or jar. It held, I guess, a paprika by Colossi. I don't know. It's Hungarian. And um, these do sell, the little canisters. Um, I saw there were comps on them. Uh, it's not a big, big buy, but I think I could probably get about $15 for that. Maybe a little more. Um, I like to pick up these boxes. They're not always, they're not usually big sellers, especially when they're small like this, but, um, the workmanship was nice and I thought it was really cool with it pieced, which it looks like pieced with burl wood. It's a little cedar box. It's from Lake George, New York souvenir box. Um, I have sold a Lake George, um, beach towel before. So, um, I know that there's a, a market for that type of souvenir stuff from Lake George. 
Um, these, I thought originally they were maybe studs for a tuxedo shirt, but then, and I thought these were might be cufflinks hidden but then when I pulled them out they're little shank buttons so I'm not oh shoot I'm not sure what they'd be used for whether maybe a jacket maybe these buttons go three on each sleeve and then these are the two coat buttons for a two button blazer so rotary club cool let's see if I can zoom in on that I'm not sure yeah see rotary international I know that symbol anywhere. Okay, so these. Oh, I forgot to list the pins. Oh no, I didn't. These are. Um, I guess they're tulips, is what my guess is, or lotus blossoms. Um, they're handmade. It looks like they're just art. I don't think they have a purpose, but they definitely are a set. And um, yeah, I have no idea what I'll get for those but I thought they were cool and different. This is a plate from Expo 67. So what is that? 33, over 50 years old. It was made in Canada. And um, I saw other ones this shape. Again, not a big buy um, or not a big resale, probably about 15, 16 dollars. These are really cool. I think I could sell these for about 25 for the whole set. They are signed. They're a little faded. It's a set of four little mini artworks. I forgot the name of the, I might be able to see it here. The artist is Bates, Bales, Bates. Marjorie, I think. Marjorie C, I think it's Bates. Uh, but I thought they were really nice. Definitely vintage. So for the whole set, I'm thinking possibly about $25. And I got these um, Party Light, which are new in box. And they're really nice votive holders. And the nice thing about it is that I could sell it as a set with the candles that are made for them. So these square, square votive candles fit exactly into them. So I'll sell them together. I think I could probably get about 20 or 25 for that. I should get that listed soon now, for Christmas. Um, and this guy, so initially, I thought it was an elephant. <laughs> I don't know why I thought an elephant would have a collar, but it's obviously a dog with a bone on its nose, right? What it's for is not very obvious. I saw that they were sold as ah, treat holders, but they look a little bit small unless it's an itty bitty dog and there's itty bitty treats. Now it might be a cotton ball holder, like for the bathroom, because. There were other bathroom accessories by this Jenny Fa. Um, but like one was a cat and then, so there was a toothbrush holder and a soap dish, um, no cup. So it wasn't a complete set. So I just took this guy cause I did see this guy sell individually. And last couple of things are jewelry pieces. There's this little shoe which is really pretty but I don't think it'll sell <laughs> or if it does it's going to be like 10 bucks this is a cool I might have missed the window of opportunity to list this and sell this but it's a cool cat on a broomstick um, I did sell see comps for that sell about $15 $17 and then this is Snoopy and it's a Michigan State University pin and um, I don't think he'll bring a lot of money either, but I thought he was cute. So that is the whole haul from the church sale. I will be also doing a, sm a short haul on the 25 cent sale from the same day, but I'll do that a little later. Thanks for watching. Happy hunting from the Thriftaholic. Please like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, 
and uh, I'll try to bring you as much content as quickly as I can. Thanks. Have a great day. Happy hunting.